afternoon everyone welcome back to my channel my name is amanda this is miss lamazon fab over 40. i am here with a first impressions stroke application type video for you guys today and i'll do a wear test and come back at the end of the day and tell you how it worn how it has worn this is a new foundation that i received in pr yesterday i received a box with a few little bits in i will go through that in a different video but for today i am just going to show you this foundation now previously i have owned this uh, the old version of this it's the Maybelline Superstay up to 30 hour foundation Maybelline New York doesn't say it. Superstay active wear Superstay active wear 30 hour foundation this is it the color I was sent is 22 soft bisque oh sorry light bisque number 22 light bisque it is i think a little bit on the pale side for me but we will make this work i just want to see if it really is full coverage how it reacts to dry skin whether or not i have to set it how much i have to set it just useful information that you people out there in youtube land might find applicable to you right four little dots of my la roche posay moisturizer as you do every morning there she is you have to make sure your skin is moisturized. Now it's already been moisturized. This is just getting a second round because this is supposed to be full coverage. Although it says active wear, it is a full coverage product according to all the reviews. Now my face is is freshly exfoliated and um, guys, it's freshly shaved. I do shave my face, but only where the hairs are very, very dark and very, very quick. I sometimes I pluck them out, but there are times when the, the old plucking doesn't do fuck all. So. Bring that down the neck. My moisturizer has SPF 30 in it. It's a La Roche Posay moisturizer. There is SPF 30 in it. So I've avoided this is my second round of it. It is coming into the summer, lads, so you will need your SPF. Moisturize. Next thing is to seal this into my skin, the moisture that has been placed here. I'm going to seal it in with the Mineral 89 by Vichy. This stuff acts great as a primer for your makeup as well. It'll do about two drops in the hands. And it's, it's so soft going on the skin, lads, I swear to God. It's like, it feels like water. And I do just press that in. Around here where I'm dry, I'm specifically dry around the peripherals of my face. Middle is quite combo, but around here, and down the neck, what's left? My hands down the neck, I'm just decolletage. That's it now, I'll just leave that to sit there for a second. As I say, this is the second round of this. It's gotten this morning. This was just to show you how I prep my skin for makeup. Next thing we have is a little primer. It's a drugstore primer. I'm using drugstore products all the way here today, lads, with the exception of the bron of the bronzer, which will be a clown's one. This is... Da -da 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 -da. It's priming, hydrating, anti-wrinkle, natural glow, anti-pollution, and anti-oxidization, anti-oxidation pore minimizing, evens out your skin tone, blurs imperfections, and has SPF 15. Well, I've already got SPF 30 on twice, so not that I'm counting. <laughs> this is the 10 primer by Catrice. And I have to be honest with you guys, this stuff, as far as I know, it's been discontinued. I mean, what is it with these people? I'm just hoping they don't discontinue my favorite foundation, which is the True Skin one from Catrice. Now, I, I can't add this one to the list because say, it's only getting used now. Now, where my pores specifically annoy me, I put it around the chin, on the top of the nose, and here where, where it tends to sit in my fine lines and wrinkles. So I just, just press the primer into the skin so that it fills up the pores and makes the foundation go on that little bit easier. Okay. And let's check this color out and the texture of this foundation. Okay, we're gonna squirt a bit on the back of the hint. That's what it looks like. Ooh, let's see it with weight balloons. Ooh, it is ever, it's quite pale. There it is blended into my skin. It's not the most blendable, guys. This could be interesting. That's it blended into my skin. It, I can make this work, yep. This can work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Nikia Joy sponge. I will link that below. It is quite possibly the best makeup sponge I have ever used. Do we worry about these things? Okay. <laughs> I 
I know everybody has their own way of doing it. This is mine for today. I'm taking out 5X mirror and we're starting on the cheeks. I'm gonna pull this in. I apologize, guys. This is going to look a little bit strange because it is not the perfect color for my skin. But again, PR companies do not know. I mean, yeah, for the particular site I'm, I'm affiliated with for doing the surveys and the product testing, um, if I can get a link, I will link it below, but I'll have to I'll link it below and you can all just check it out. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Am I having an Apple foundation by KVD moment here? With the coverage I'm getting up with this. Now remember guys, I'm 50 years of age. And I'm just going to keep patting this in until it blends into my skin. I need to pat, I need to press it right into the skin, lads. Because when you hit my age, I have a pore filling primer on. So hopefully that will be enough to have filled in the pores. So this acts like just a little bit of... I have the poly filler on, lads. Now I'm putting the smoother over the top, you know. I've got the primer on, now I'm painting the fence. Now. Okay. The colour is not the... Uh, it's a little bit wishy-washy, guys. Look at that. It's tacky, but it's, slow, it's drying in. Okay, it is going to dry in. I will come back to you as now. I'm just going to pat this around my forehead. Actually, this color is, is a good match for me. I have my face, not for my chest, but my chest has got some rosacea, which uh, I... the sun gets out there, lads. My face never sees the light of day. And if it does see the light of day, it's, it's got SPF 30 on it or 50 or 70 if I have it. With a tiny bit around the um, ears, the ears, they are a bit red looking. But she won't see it now when my hair's done and my makeup is on the rest of it. Right, kids. We're going up here close and personal to see if I can actually show you as my pores with this on. Okay, this is, as of the moment, it's not sitting into my wrinkles any worse than any other foundation I go and I throw on. So let's here you go. Mm -hmm. Now remember boys and girls, I don't have any filters on this. Anybody thinking I do? I don't. I'm on a 5X mirror here now, let's have a look. It is sitting into my smile line here on this side, slightly. So I'm going to pat it in a bit more. This might not be a good idea looking at this in a 5X mirror, you know? <laughs> I'm just looking at all my wrinkles going, oh fuck. Okay, I'm just hoping that up here, it is sitting into those lines in my forehead. I'm hoping when I put the rest of my makeup on that that actually improves. I will not be setting this with any powder, lads. No powder going over this. This is, I don't think it needs it. It's actually drying down. It's a little slightly tacky at the moment, but I just have a feeling this will dry down completely matte. So, this is it applied. No makeup on over it, no nothing, just the foundation itself applied and blended in using the Nikia Joy Pro Sponge. I'll link this below, it's absolutely brilliant. You dampen it, then rinse it out in a, an old towel or whatever, and use it away, wash it later on. Okay, I like it. Do I think it's as nice as my true skin? Yeah, it looks pretty much the same on. Uh, it is sitting into my wrinkles in my forehead ever so slightly. The true skin doesn't do that, but that is a hydrating foundation. This is active wear. You're supposed to be able to go to the gym and work out like a bastard and come back and the fucking thing is still like, yeah, but da ba da ba da ba do. Oh, we'll see, <laughs> that'll be tested out, I can tell you. Okay, that's the foundation on so far, lads. I will come back to you when I have my whole face done and my hair done looking absolutely fucking like a riot, like a riot. Okay, peeps, that's my makeup applied and my hair has been blow dried using my Revlon blow dry brush dupe. Um, makeup over top of this, I used a cream bronzer and I used eyeshadow, obviously, and mascara. I didn't put any eyeliner on. I've got a little bit of lip liner and a little bit of uh, lipstick by L'Oreal Color Riche called No Doubt. Um, do I like the way the makeup sits on top of this? Yes, I haven't had to use powder 
on this as such. At the very end, just as I was finished, I dusted a tiny bit onto a brush and put it around where the mask is going to be going. But other than that, I haven't powdered it. It's dried down to solid, solidly dry. Is it flattering on the skin? I'm looking at it. Looks pretty good to me. Um, I will come back later on in the day and I will give you my final thoughts on this after I have worn it for several hours. I mean, I'm. I'll, it'll be probably in the background, you can see light coming in. The next time you see me on this camera, I would more than likely it would be dark or close enough. It'll be half nine or 10 o'clock. It's one o'clock in the afternoon now. So we're looking at maybe doing my final check-in after tea around seven. So that gives it six, seven hours. I know it's about, I would not wear makeup for 30 hours, lads. That's just never gonna happen. Do I like it so far? Yes, it lays on the skin nicely. It's easy to apply, it blends very well. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it so far. It, it looks good. The Judging it is basically time, time dependent. I wait for a few hours. It does it sit into my wrinkles? Well, it's not as perfecting over them as my true skin, but that is a hydrating foundation. This is an active wear, long wear foundation. It's a completely different formula. It com feels completely different on the skin. But I feel that at the moment it is working. I just want to see how, how what way it goes when I exercise, i.e. go for a little bit of a walk, clean up around the gaff, see what way it lies later on. So I will be back for the final check-in later on this evening, lads. So I'll give you an honest opinion on this foundation for the over 50s. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later in my final check-in. Good evening, everybody. It's been six hours since I last spoke to you. This foundation is the Active Wear Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation in the colour Lightest Bisque, number 22. Well, don't mind me flicking the hair. I'm coming in there a bit closer now. I did blow my nose earlier on, so there is a little tiny bit of hair that has come off. It is still clearly on my chin. Let's get my 5X mirror out, shall we? <laughs> and I'm back. Have a gander. Oh, holding it up to scrutiny, lads. Oh my god. Did it wear like a shit bag? Actually, it didn't wear like a shit bag. It wore very, very well, I have to say. But then it's designed to wear well, lads. It is designed to actually um to stay on your skin for 30 hours. I've only had it on six, maybe seven at the most. But I am planning on taking it off shortly, so because I want to just sit on the couch with a cup of tea and my dog and watch whatever's on Netflix. So I'll come in closer to you because I've no way of zooming in with this thing. It's not the type of camera you can zoom in with. OK, I think it looks OK. I'll tell you where I'm not happy. Uh, what I will say to you guys is this, right? I'm over 50. I have extremely dry skin. My skin is shocking. It's very, very dry. Therefore, when I use makeup like this, long wearing makeup, that if it's not hydrating, it just it sucks the sucks the life out of your skin. It's just, it just that's just the way it is. It, older skin, I find mature skin, whatever way you want to put it, 50 plus, you really need to be wearing foundation that's light coverage, hydrating. These active wear, blah, uh, as much as I, lo I love to say, yes, it's lasted perfectly on my skin. It, it's lasted really well, it hasn't budged. But it is sitting into my wrinkles here. He, the concealer didn't actually sit properly over it. So you can still see my bags. It's sitting into the wrinkles under my eyes. It's actually in, it's actually um, enhancing the wrinkles under my eyes. If you don't mind me saying that. It's on the ones on my forehead. So no, this would not be ideal. for the, It's a good foundation. Don't get me wrong. It's an extremely, it's easy to apply. It goes on very smooth, very easy. But if your skin is dry, this is not your baby. If your skin is oily, oh my God, you need to kiss Maybelline's arse because this stuff would be absolutely savage deadly for anyone with oily skin. Even a combination skin person would get away with this. But dry skin, no, I'm sorry, guys, I'm telling you. Run. Run unless you have the best makeup primer on the market. And I honestly don't think any of us could afford the one from La Prairie. So there you go. Um, no, run. Now, um, if, if, if you ignore the under eye and the forehead, you can look here on the cheek. 
it's beautiful because I'm combination. Uh, I, I'm just dry in certain parts. Like my under eyes are very, very dry. And uh, the fucking concealer was a Maybelline concealer and it didn't sit great on it. I don't know, just, just not looking as good as my true skin from Catrice. But then that is a hydrating foundation. So it's apples and oranges, it's your comparison. So um, would I buy this? If I had oily skin or oily combination skin, I would jump to the nearest boots and pluck it up. So any of my younger viewers, younger subscribers, yes, absolutely. If you've got oily skin or oily combination skin or even normal skin, you'll get away with this. Now, even on the dry skin, I am pulling it off. I'm looking in the mirror at myself and I, yes, I can see where it's sitting into wrinkles. That could very well just be the, that I didn't use my prof, pro poor professional primer by benefit i used a cheaper it might be a better situation with a more expensive more up oh, you know high-end primer so i might just try my poor professional primer with this tomorrow and then i'll come back or i'll put a note under the video i'll find some way of letting you know one way or the other my next video you'll be notified if it makes a difference to the way it sits on my skin holy shit it actually makes me look like I could do a bit of Botox, lads. What do you reckon? Anyone know how much it is to get Botox on the forehead? I'd like to get Botox on Botox on the forehead and lip fillers here so I have big fucking Angelina Jolie BJ lips. <laughs> Monkey's arse lips, right? If you know anywhere good that does those things, I'm yes. But seriously, I'm considering the Botox. Mm. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop looking at myself in the mirror because I'm just seeing more faults. I'm going on. Hold on, I put my glasses on. Now, there we go with the glass. Now, would I buy it if I, as dry skinned as I am, would I go into Boots and buy this? Mm, no, no, lads. I'm sorry, I wouldn't with dry, dry skin. No, dry, dry skin. Run the fuck away. If you're oily, oily combination, or normal. You get away with wearing this. Even as a dry skin person, I'm pulling it off. It's just, it's sitting where I don't want it sitting and my skin feels a little bit tight around my mouth, which means that it has dried out. So that's it, my friends. That's my final thoughts on the Maybelline Activewear Superstay 30 hour foundation. I will link it below where you can buy it. I will link the products I've used on my face below, including the sponge I use from Nikki Dye. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has given you food for thought and that those with oily skin hop on the bandwagon here and that you consider joining my little family here. Hit the subscribe button, click on the bell next to it and then when I upload a video, you get notified. Right, that's it for now, lads. I'm going to mosey on outside now. The dog, she's been pawing me to go out for probably to do a poo, known her. So I will talk to you all in my next video next week. Take care. Bye.